everyone, today I'm going to do a video on a first impression with a review towards the end of the video and today I'm going to be reviewing the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I've been wanting to try this for quite a while now and the shade that I got is an NC40 so it says it's a modern foundation that combines a natural matte finish and medium buildable coverage with SPF 15, comfortable and long wearing, lasts up to eight, eight, 8 hours. So I'm guessing this foundation is more for like oily skin types or combination skin types and things like that. I do have dry skin as you all know by now, but my double wear is, is like a matte, it's normally for oily skin, but regardless of that I still wear it and it's my favourite foundation ever because I do wear a really good moisturiser underneath plus my facial oil so that it doesn't flake up my skin or anything like that so don't be scared to use foundations that are actually for oily skins because you can wear them as long as you have a good moisturiser under your skin so yeah I'm gonna try this out and I'm really excited so it shows to shake it well so I've already applied my Garnier Moisture Match for dry to very dry skin and my Sanctuary Spa Facial Oil and this is the Youth Boosting one and my skin does look kind of greasy right now but it's it really helps to like not get your skin to dry out and make you know like when you have dry skin and when you apply foundation the, the, the foundation patches up in certain areas and that's just like disgusting to me so applying oil really helps to prevent that and yeah, it just really helps to keep the skin hydrated under your foundation. So I just recently got the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm going to wear this on one side only so that we can maybe tell a difference. And I could maybe also do a mini review on this if you're wondering how this works. So, so I'm going to apply it on the right side. It's kind of like a gel formula and it really smooths out the skin I already know that this is going to last me a long time because I just applied a tiniest, like the tiniest amount and it goes a long way so basically my mum went um, to France she got, I looked at swatches online because when I don't really know what shade I am I go look at swatches of that foundation on Google Images so I told her which shade to get but I feel like this shade might be too light so we'll just see how it looks so I'm first going to apply it with my finger. I think it's alright, you know. So I'm going to take my damp Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to blend it all out. It does actually really cover, it covers actually really well. And normally I think this is a matte finish, but because I've applied the oil underneath, it really helps to keep that dewy shine. And you don't have to apply an oil if you've got oily skin, obviously, but if you don't really like a dewy finish and you have dry skin, then you don't have to apply the oil. Well, you can, but the tiniest amount. I put a lot because I really want that dewy look, because I'm obsessed with dewy looks. So that's what it looks like with one layer. I would actually just, I'm happy, I like, I really like how it looks on the skin. And the shade is actually perfect. Because my double wear is kind of darker for me, but I still wear it anyways. I can just make, I can pull it off with like when I put the rest of my makeup on. But this is like the exact, like the right shade for me. I really like how it looks like. I'm just going to apply a bit more, like a little thin second layer because it says it is buildable, so let's see if it's buildable. And the thing that I don't, well I'm kind of used to it with my double wear but it doesn't have a pump. Is, and I just put it on the back of my hand and sometimes it is annoying but I just deal with it because I'm not going to spend extra money for pump. Wow, it really makes your skin look flawless. So there you go, I've applied the foundation and I'm just going to quickly do the rest of my makeup. So now that I've done all my makeup, I'm going to come back later on in the day. It's now 1.33 in the afternoon and I'll just come later on and then after that as well. It's just so you can see how it stays on the skin throughout the day. 
and so far I'm really liking it to be honest I've heard so many good things about this foundation and it's not pricey at all for high-end foundation like I said it's $21.50 but I just thought that I'd do a first impression for you guys just so that you guys can see how it looks like on very dry skin so yeah I'll be back later on so it's now nearly 4 I think it's like 15.52 and so far I'm really liking it and I just like how it's settled, it, it looks like it's melted into my skin and it looks really flawless, I haven't touched up or anything and the thing with me is I, when I put makeup I don't carry makeup with me when I go out, I don't touch up at all, I just don't like the feeling of adding makeup on me, like on top of makeup, I just don't like doing that. So I never bring makeup with me, I never touch up, so I just really like a good foundation that lasts all day and that doesn't patch up during the day. Because, for example, my number 7 drugstore one by Boots, I really love that foundation like for everyday use, but it does kind of patch up throughout the day, so that's just a downside to it. But for the price, you kind of expect that. But for an eye high-end foundation, this is like amazing. And I did add the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Primer on this side, and the thing is, it does say in a box, the main thing that I, that I spotted out is that... It says, if I can find it, the totally unique formula helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and pores for visibly softer skin. And to be honest, I really feel like around this area, I have like a lot of spots and you might not be able to see it on camera, but I have like a lot, it's like smoother on this side where I've applied the primer and on this side, it's just normal basically. And the worst thing that I get is I get like smile lines here and it's I just hate it so much it's so bad and the fact that I have large cheeks as you can see when I smell it really goes inwards because of my humongous cheeks so smile lines is a huge problem with me but um, I would apply powder in that area but I didn't set my face with any powder whatsoever apart from my under eye area but I don't know if you can see it on camera, but on this side, my smile line is so much more less visible, like, on this side. So, like, this area here, there's, like, no line whatsoever, but here you can kind of see it. And I just think that the primer has really done its job. Like, I love this. Now, I'm going to always be applying this under my foundation. And normally, I've never always been, like, a primer type of person, but... I can definitely tell a difference like through here and like here as well and it does make your skin look smoother I can definitely tell a difference so yeah I would definitely recommend this and even if you don't if you just want to try it out you can definitely ask for a sample and they'll give you at a Smashbox counter and they'll give you like a sample so you can try it out because it is quite pricey I think it's like £28 I think but I don't regret it because I know that it will last a long time and yeah, so I'll be back later on in the day and we'll just check how it looks like then. So I'm back again and it is now 9 o'clock in the evening and apart from my eyebrows going a bit funny, I kind of like the foundation to be honest. But the only thing that I would say is because I have dry skin, it is kind of drying me up in these areas here. Not really on my nose which is kind of shocking but like here and I never really get dry here and like a bit on my forehead you can't really see it on camera but when I looked up close in the mirror in the mirror I could see like little patches of dryness but I just really like the foundation overall and it's been nearly I think it's been 7.5 hours nearly eight hours and I think it's held quite well for someone who actually doesn't touch up or anything like that so if you touch up your uh, makeup throughout the day and I think I think this foundation is really good I would say it's better for oily or normal to combination skin types but because my skin's very dry that's why it's made those kind of patchy areas but I don't think it's as bad and please mind this ugly background but um so yeah that's my review on the MAC Studio Fix Fluid I'm really happy that I got it I don't regret it at all and to be honest I'd be kind of like pissed off if I spent money on a foundation that I don't really like but um, if you want me to do for, uh, reviews on other foundations, just let me know and I'll make sure to get it and do a review for you guys because I actually really enjoy doing this video and yeah, I bulk film a lot and I just really like filming. I prefer filming than revising, that's bad isn't it? 
So thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys think of the video. Don't forget to let me know if you'd like me to do more reviews on other foundations. And yeah, I'll definitely see you next time. Bye. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do a video on it's a modern foundation that combines a natural matte finish and medium buildable build. I can't read today, can I? Okay, guys, I'm really getting fat. I'm starting to get a double chin. Can you guys see that? Oh, and I am in my PJs, by the way. Everyone, meet my lovely Bobby Sky. You guys have seen her in a couple of videos, but she's Sky and she's really cuddly, but at the moment she's getting a bit frustrated. Look at her little paws. They're like all pink. Look at her face right now. Okay, I'm good. There you go.